Welcome back to Loose Women Still to Come. Be still our beating hearts. Look who's here, Nick Berry! <laughs> now, Prime Minister David Cameron has come under fire for committing one of the <laughs> ultimate holiday fashion faux pas. Holiday in Italy. Uh, holidaying, rather, in Italy. He ditched his socks whilst wearing loafers. Can you believe it? No, I, thought in some, I thought in some parts of the world that was Trey Stylish, but apparently not. According to Liz Jones, uh, who was railed against him, Cameron and British men, uh, she says, never seem to get it right when it comes <laughs> to their holiday wardrobes. So do you agree, ladies, and do you think that British men are a little bit beyond help when it comes to um, <laughs> dressing for sunnier climes? I don't think they're beyond help. I think the problem is that <laughs> a, a lot of the time they think, well, it's only two weeks a year, I'm not going to waste any money buying another whole outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And what we need to do, ladies, really, is to get one in, if you'll pardon the expression, and <laughs> then they can get it out every year. <laughs> Which would be marvellous, wouldn't well, just it? Just once a year. Yes, but yeah. you see, I, I think that what uh, David Cameron was doing, probably, we don't know, see, he might have been on his way to buy a pair of nice summery type loafers, because actually that's a, certainly a better look than socks and sandals. Come on, Definitely. be fair. Absolutely. Which is the usual thing. But I, I, to be fair, I just think it's unfortunate. I mean, I had a, a chew conversation actually with Mr. Spain the other day because um, I can't get him out of his jeans. Well, you know, I can't. Easy. <laughs> Not on holiday. No, so, and I said, you've got to wear a suit, please, to this thing. So I said, but I tell you what, why don't you wear a linen suit? That'd be nice. So he's got a linen suit, which hardly ever sees the light of day. But, of course, then he put his brown brogues on. I said, you can't wear brown brogues with your white linen suit, can you? He said, well, I haven't got any others. So I went scrambling through. And of course, he hadn't really. And what he should have had was a nice pair of... Then he could have worn no socks and a nice pair of maybe even a, a colour, a navy, a navy blue or a... a pink. You know, a pink. Yeah. Well, that's pushing it, cos he has pink shirts. <laughs> well, and I know you... he's butch, but he's not, you know, silly on. Were you in this country? We were in this country. We were in this country. But what I'm saying is, I do think that the problem is that that it is that mentality of, of not, not being used to going out, so it's all a big deal I for men. I think it's the weather. I don't think we're used yeah. to... No, I think men Hot or weather. women are used to trusting the weather. So you put your sandals on and you think, well, it might rain, so I'd better put my socks on just in case. <laughs> then, and then if it doesn't rain, you can take your socks off and you've got your sandals on. <laughs> but what really worries me is I saw a bloke the other day with a pair of socks on with a pair of Crocs. Socks and Crocs? <laughs> socks! Crocs, oh, no, but with that's... the strap round the back like a slingback. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no hope there, then. But I think the problem... But what, this is quite good. The big baggy shorts that men now wear with all the pockets, pockets for days. I hate that. But it's quite good cos it means they can just ditch the bum bag. Yeah. Oh, no. Cos the bum bags are a worry. I think. What era oh. are you still living in? Well, I saw, <laughs> I saw it at the weekend. I was, I was passing a cricket match and I seriously saw blokes with knotted hankies, socks with Crocs and big baggy oh. out of Africa. Oh. Sure. The bum bag never really caught on here. In, in, the bum bag. But you know no, what? The worst, the, the worst bag image bag on the beach is somebody like Peter Stringfellow in a thong. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember that picture? Yeah. You no, know, do men actually wear thongs? Well, oh, Sherry, I, I have to oh. say... Oh! Bottom is that? Looks like, is it Rod Stewart? No, no, not now. Let's not identify prince. that bottom. No, we no, probably, that's not. But, but thongs. But you know, Andy Cap was the you know the typical image, wasn't of the British with the, yeah. with the white handkerchief yeah. on the beach yeah. with his trousers rolled up, it's... socks and sandals. But it's that weird so thing. Unattractive. <laughs> Look. Oh. <laughs> Oh. But you know what? When you do go abroad, so I've, I'm going to stick up for British men here because I've seen <laughs> far worse sights abroad. And I think it, from country to country, our styles vary. And that's putting it politely. Yeah. Um, and I think... Um, oh, God, how do I say this without being barred from certain states? Um, <laughs> No. For example, right, the big thing when I went to Thailand last was there were loads of Russian guys there, yeah? And for a start, they sunbathe standing up so they, they, they don't have to lie down and turn over. They just stand there like that. <laughs> but in those kind of swimming shorts. Genius. Now, we think... <laughs> we're in a G-string. He thinks, I'm tanning. So it's, I just think you have to respect the differences from, from nation to nation. And I'm sort of relieved that David Cameron hasn't thought about his summer footwear because I think, frankly, he's got bigger things to worry about right now. Yeah. And yeah. that, that bodes does. well. He's just had a paddle and his socks are drying off somewhere. <laughs> I can't imagine him going, Sam, you didn't pack my burkies. I can. <laughs> can you? Yeah. 
much rather he'd be on the phone trying to sort out, you know, the state of the world. Can you imagine him in Berkeys? I think he'd pull it off. Mm. Can you mm. imagine him in a song? <laughs> David Cameron. <laughs> There's a picture to take home with you today. <laughs> OK, wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> After Sherry spent ten long years in the cruel wilderness of the dating world, we decided to take her matters into our own Thank hands you. to see if we could hook her up with a man that was worthy of her, an eligible bachelor. And after launching our competition to find someone to take her on the date of a lifetime on the Orient Express, you at home got to decide who was to hold her hand. You decided that dating agency owner John was the man for the job. So, this is it. This is how Sherry and John got on on the ride of their lives. Hello, ladies. I'm here at uh, Victoria Station waiting for Sherry to arrive for my lovely date on the Orient Express. Um, I wish she'd hurry up, though. I've been here waiting for some time. So tired, tired of waiting, tired of waiting for you. Oh, there she is. Sensational. Thank Hello. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see that train. Oh, me neither. It's supposed to be fabulous. I isn't know. It? Let's Come go. On. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Lovely. Let's do a great day. Great day. Cheers. Cheers. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can you actually jive properly? Yeah, not what? great. I'm not good at it, but I'm okay. What, d doesn't the man have to lead? Yeah. You see, I'm, I can never stop being the man. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you see, when I get on a dance floor, I go, oh, for God's sake. Oh, really? Yeah. No, you'd love this. You would love it's this. It's really hard, though, because I brought up my daughter. I, I've done everything. I've earned the money. You'd be fine, trust and, me. And so fine. now, you know, everything I do, I kind you of take the lead. It. Yeah. yeah. Job. Right. I've got some questions. Oh no, have you? Okay. So you have to say which you prefer, dogs or cats? Dogs. Coronation Street or EastEnders? Coronation Street, obviously. Well, you're right again. Lights on or lights off? Do you know lights on? Oh! Yeah. That's I a do. bit daring, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, nice though. <laughs> Kisses or cuddles? It's a hard one. Kisses, I think. Bra or braless? That's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? Bra less. Shaved or unshaven? I'd rather you had a shave. <laughs> That's OK. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely. Cheers, thank you. Lovely. So then, John, bon appétit. Bon appétit. Cheers. Cheers. I've got a little present for you. It's a little memento of our super day out. Oh, my for God. For you. Oh! <laughs> How gorgeous is he? Oh, that is so lovely. Oh, thank you, John. Mm, it's a pleasure. Can I just Sorry. say, it's been a lovely day, and thank you oh, and for everything. And ditto. You're lovely. And Cheers. you. It went very well, and uh, we got on uh, like a house on fire, and it was almost like I've known her forever. You know, it was just a really nice date, and uh, just real good friends, if nothing else. And I, let's hope there's a little bit more, but certainly friends. It's lovely, absolutely lovely day. I just saw it as a, like a, a fantasy date of the Orient Express and how wonderful. Uh, never thought anything more than that, but John really is a lovely person. And uh, I think we've found a real common ground and that we actually want the same things in life. I would love to see Sherry again. I thought she was really nice and uh, I just think we get on so well and it'd be so lovely to uh, take that a bit further. Uh, would I like to see John again? Well, who knows? That's the exciting thing, isn't it? I might. I might not. But I'd quite like to.
St John's Day, go to our website for exclusive footage and photos. So, Sherry, will yes. you or won't you see John again? Do you know, it was a lovely time and I just want to thank everybody on the Orient because it's the most beautiful train I've ever been on in my life. I want to thank Billy as well for filming it so beautifully. And I had a great time and John was lovely. Oh. And who knows, who knows what will, what, what will throw at us. He was a lovely man and we had a really nice time. And I'll never forget that train as long as I live. Oh, how I far really did you go? Him. The train. And um, we went... <laughs> How beautiful the train was it really made me quite emotional and we went to the Surrey Hills okay you went as far as Surrey yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you John it was a great day thank you we had a lovely time and the train was great the train was great can't get over the train oh, dear. okay we're taking a final breather but after the break we're joined by Nick Berry we'll see you soon